Two weeks ago, these headlights looked terrible. I'd say for my first time rebuilding headlights, they actually turned out pretty nice. Way more problems than I thought though. This is how we did it. After getting the tent off, these Scrapyard Rescue headlights need a full rebuild. The headlights that are on the car now are even worse though, so we'll make it work. And the oven is all set, but now we gotta wait for it to heat up. Ooh, it's ready. Here they are, all pulled apart. Jeez, that chrome is so 2004. We'll fix it. And now repeat for the other side. Oh snap, we just got a new order. While that other headlight bakes, let's go ahead and get these splitter winglets all ready to ship. Ben is a returning customer, man. Go check him out on Instagram. His Civic is super sick. Okay, so here's what the headlight housings look like right now. Let's take everything apart. So I've never actually stripped chrome off of plastic, but the internet says that this stuff works really well. But not by spraying it. Come on, Josiah, think, man, think! After waiting a couple of hours, here's how it looks. Now that I know I can strip the chrome, let's start working on everything else. I don't know how the heck these things are supposed to come off. They're weird, they just spin and spin. Oh wait, they do come off, you just gotta, they're really long, they're like four inches long. Yeah, that's not gonna work. We need more purple stuff, people. Okay, we got it. Yay, it worked. <clears throat> okay, now we rinse and repeat. Time to scuff the surface so that we can paint all the parts. Can't forget to clean it really good. Oh yeah, it's prime time, baby. So we're going with a clean gloss Nardo Gray for the accent color. I could technically just rip it all off and hop in. 
Just so you guys know, Emily's the real one. There's no way I'd ever do that to my hand. <laughs> I'm serious. Like, I just, I hate that feeling. And look at this. Look. Dude, that's crazy. Gotta make it wet with a good clear coat. Now for all the other parts. Spray paint's already running out, so we gotta make a supply run. Again. Crap, well, this is where impatience gets you, kids. And the paint is cracking. I tried to strip all the paint off, and this was about as good as I could get it. So I'm thinking I'm just gonna start with gray primer and then move to a filler primer on this. We'll see. So, that right there, I think the two primers had a reaction. So I figure that we do technically have another set on the car, so let's pull those ones apart too. Turns out there's even more problems. Under here is this uh, headlight ballast with the wiring loom, and this actually doesn't go through here, it doesn't fit. So for whatever reason, Mazda thought it was a great idea to put the headlight ballast through the actual housing before they glued the housing together. So, which means you can't disassemble it without taking the lens off of the front, but you can't put it in the oven because then it will melt the ballast and destroy all the electronics. So literally the only way to do this is either with a heat gun or smashing it apart, or I don't know. So I'm done for tonight. We'll figure out something later. But before I call it quits, I decided to check on the other parts really quick. You've got to be kidding me, man. One thing goes wrong, dude. Everything is going wrong. Look at this. Nope, 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 nope. I'm going inside. So you guys know, you know this video, right? So it's at 99,212 views. It was doing so well, it was getting like four or 5,000 views a day and now it's dropping down. So it'll be a while before this hits 100,000, but it's gonna happen soon. Okay, my head's back in the project. It's time to work on the bulbs. The, uh, the heat gun method actually works pretty well. Now we can disassemble all this, get this ballast out of here. We can actually take this off, strip the chrome because we damaged the other one, and repaint this because this is the side that was actually, you know, the paint got messed up on. And then repaint this shroud as well because this is the one that, you know, again, had the black paint issue. So this headlight is kind of our lifesaver right now. Crisis averted, everybody. I'm so glad that we had two sets of headlights to work with. I'm thinking because it's been in the triple digits out here that if we don't leave it outside, maybe the cooler temperature indoors will actually let this cure better. We'll see. Now to test out all the other stuff we have. This is where it gets fun.
So after two weeks of huge ups and downs, we finally have everything finished. Our very first set of custom headlights. Don't forget to subscribe and enjoy the reveal. A Supra. Yes, I couldn't figure dude, out what the car it looked dude, like. Dude, it looks like a Supra. It does look like a wow, Supra. Wow, high five I, for that. I kept thinking, it looks like a BRZ. It looks like a FR. No, what does it look like? It's, it's a, a Supra. Supra. 